up everyone dr webb here thank you guys for watching this video make sure you subscribe new videos come in every week you don't want to miss them in this video today i'm going to talk about life outside of residency outside of being a doctor because along this road which is a very long road you definitely have to pace yourself you have to find things that essentially make you happy or outlets that you can use to balance your your work and your life uh, people always talk about work life balance and um, it definitely takes a while to get used to trying to figure out what works best for you uh, you have to have some type of outlets we hear all about the depression suicides and everything else that goes along with uh, being a physician being a surgeon or any other specialty but um, those th those things that are important to you are going to sustain you over the years so and help you to keep going um, so some things that I like to do uh, outside of being a doctor are um, basically anything outdoors I'm a very outdoor doorsy type person if that's even a word but um, I like going hiking I like going hunting I like going fishing even though I don't get to do those things that often, I enjoy doing those things and they're very relaxing for me. Um, one of my favorite things to do is travel. Uh, over the last, let's say two years, I've been to maybe five to six countries. Um, I've been to Haiti twice, I've been to Thailand. Um, I've been to Prague, Czech Republic. I've been to Germany. I've been to uh, Austria. Uh, so a number of different countries and you may be wondering like your resident you, especially a orthopedic surgery resident How do you travel so much? Well? Opportunities basically uh, They they present themselves and I act upon them uh, for Haiti There's a surgeon that I work with who's been over there maybe 50 times So I usually go with him to operate and we do surgery over there and kind of visit the country uh, for Thailand I did a a surgery fellowship I got it through our academy, which is an organization that governs the all orthopedic surgeons across the world. I applied for this fellowship and got the fellowship. I spent a month there. And for Prague, Czech Republic, and uh, Germany, and Austria, I just went on vacation. Uh, so that's my favorite thing that I love, I love to do. And once I get done with my training, uh, I imagine I, I will be traveling quite a bit. So time and also funds kind of limit my traveling right now but that's what I love to do kind of mostly um, sporting events I love sports basketball is my favorite sport um, people say that I look like Kevin Durant I get that all the time so I try to follow him I don't have one particular team that I like but living in San Antonio you have to be a Spurs fan uh, so uh, the Spurs um, NFL teams when I went to DC medical school in DC kind of followed the Redskins a little bit, even though they suck. Here in San Antonio, Dallas Cowboys are, um, are the team that everyone talks about around this area, but being from Louisiana, New Orleans Saints. So I'm gonna go with the New Orleans Saints as my favorite team for the NFL. So, but I love going to sporting events. Uh, if you haven't never been to a actual football game, NFL, or a NBA game, you should definitely uh, try that. So. While on my sports rotation for orthopedic surgery, we do different rotations. We do hand surgery, foot and ankle. We do joint replacement, spine, uh, trauma. Uh, on my sports rotation, I was able to go to a couple of the Spurs games and go to the locker room. I even got um, one of my classmates actually saw me on ESPN after one of the players got hurt. We took him back to the locker room. He sent it to me. I was like, holy crap. I just was on ESPN, so I thought that was uh, pretty cool. Um, and then going to the uh, Dallas Cowboys Stadium, uh, Jerry's World, I thought that was pretty cool. I just did that in my off time. Um, like I said, things outdoors. I, I like to go. I tried wakeboarding. That is extremely hard to do. Um, I, I did get up maybe one time, kind of barely, but uh, you have to you have to have some some good quad and hamstring strength to do that and also balance. So I thought that was pretty hard to do, but that, that was a lot of fun going out with one of my one of my friends who uh, has a has a boat and a truck and we went out on the lake and 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 tried some uh, wakeboarding. He was actually pretty good. He did a lot of flips and things like that. So 
Um, I love to eat in med school. I, I studied at home. I really didn't study in the library because I have to eat like every 20, 30 minutes. Um, I love snacking on things. My favorite food is Thai food. So I was in heaven in Thailand. Um, I also, I also love, um, you know, soul food from Southern type food I'm from Louisiana. So can't go wrong with that. But other than that, um, those are mostly things I like doing, working out as well. I try to do that at least two to three times per week. Uh, so those are the things I like to do outside of being a doctor. And you have to find what your outlet is. And whether that's drawing, whether that's painting, whether that's uh, working out, running. Some people are big into that or going to the gun range or going to play pool, play basketball. What is it that is your outlet to you know being a pre-med student being a pre-law student just being in the workforce as a lawyer or a teacher a uh, business person what's your outlet to your particular profession i would like to hear from you put it in the comments below so i got my t-shirt here inspired to inspire um, you can get this t-shirt and all other type of inspirational motivational merchandise uh, i try to put that out for you guys to motivate you, inspire you to keep going along your journey. I'll put the link in the description to this shirt here and all other merchandise that you can check out. But thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. You don't want to miss them. We'll see you next time.